We're racing to see who can visit the most American states over the next four days, and New York isn't claimed yet, so let's go, 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 go. Okay, Brian, <laughs> Brian. Ben, 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 oh. this way. <laughs> this way, Ben. Okay, pull seven cards. Pull, pull the top seven cards. Oh my god, hurry up. We're gonna draw right, our seven cards. cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, seven. Seven. Okay, let's check them out. Okay, so the goal in this game is simple. Claim the most states by the end of four days. Both teams just drew a hand of seven challenge cards. In order to claim a state, the team must go to the state and complete any one of those seven challenges now in their hand. Once you claim a state, it's yours. But there's a twist. In this game, one team can attack another team's state by claiming two bordering states and entering their opponent's territory to declare a battle, where both teams compete in a special challenge drawn from the new battle deck. If the attacking team wins the battle, they steal the state and lock its ownership. There are more rules and complications, but we'll explain them once they're relevant. For now, the teams need to look at their cards and start claiming some states. What are they? Your cards. Photograph. Uh... Raise the ugliest building. Sell something from a pawn shop. Expect the weirdest. Claim national. <sighs> okay. We can we can uh, we can go to the ugliest building. We need to pick one. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Go to Grand Canyon. That's not impossible. No, no. Ship this card. No. no. Visit every spirit Halloween. No. Get it in and out. No. Possible. Uh, Why not? Uh, uh, eat soup oh, in a helicopter. Yes. Oh, oh, um, let's check Blake. The ugliest building is close to here. It's that giant skyscraper that all the billionaires live in. Oh, I hate that building. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? 432 Park Avenue. Uh, let's run. North. That way's north. Okay, go north. Go north. Or actually, start going by going. Um, ah! Manhattan to Newark. As soon as possible. Uh, Oh, oh. Why is it not working? Why are there no helicopters available? So this is really bad for us. In playtesting, the Eat Soup in a Helicopter card has actually given teams a huge head start in New York because a company called Blade has regular helicopters from Manhattan to Newark Airport. But none of them are leaving today because... It might be this weather. The weather is kind of bad. To oh, the mist. yeah. Oh, that is so unlucky. So okay, what other ones do we have? There's not a whole lot there that we can do at New York. High five at the highest point. Win a top tier prize at a carnival game. Go to the Grand Canyon. Ship this card. Visit every spirit Halloween. Oh, we're. These are really bad. What do we do? Okay, cross, cross, cross. All right, Ben, there's city bikes. Let's get a city bike. Okay, scan to unlock. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, it's unlocked. Let's go, baby. Come on, Ben! Maybe the Spirit Halloween one, but we'll have to like go up to like Rhode Island or something. What is Spirit Halloween? We have to visit every Spirit Halloween in the state. Is that like a store? Yeah, you don't know Spirit Halloween? You have so much to learn about America, Brian. There's so many red lights. Look, all the lights are red. Turn green, baby. There we go, all greens. Let's keep pace, we got this. Oh, what if we went to DC? For the purposes of the game, DC is considered a state? Yeah. All right, look, there's only a single Spirit Halloween in Washington, DC. Okay. I feel like that's our only player right now. I think Spirit Halloween, oh yeah, Spirit Halloween gets us a power-up, so we could use the power-up to exchange our cards. Okay. And then work our way north. In addition to claiming states, some more difficult challenges come with an extra reward, power-up tokens. Challenges like this earn you one, and the very hardest earn two. These tokens can be spent at any time on one of the four power-ups in the shop. Border unlock, card swap, card shuffle, and tracker. We'll explain more later, but just know that if played at the right time, they can completely change the course of the game. What's the fastest way to get to Washington? Acela. Train. Okay. Well, we could look for a flight, but I think train. So we should go to Penn Station, 34th Street. So that way. All right, we're five blocks away. Okay, three blocks away. We're one block away, no word from them yet. Um, really hoping that they're not about to claim New York. Stromae is coming to Madison Square Garden. You a Stromae fan, Brian? I am. I love Stromae. Oh, hey. You are a Stromae fan? Yeah. Oh, look, oh, yes. We should go to that concert. Uh, two slim men. Two slim men. Two slim men. Let's cross. 
Ben and Adam are probably being so frantic right now. We're at 432 Park Avenue. Um, things that we like about it. What does the car say? How many things do we like about it? Do we have to say? I think it's either three, three. or five. I like that it floods a lot. Um, I, I like that when the, one. when the trash goes from the top, it moves so quickly that it reaches terminal velocity and shakes all the apartments below. That's very funny. Um, I like that it uses this weird workaround in zoning code so that it can be taller than it should be able to be. All right, that is New York claimed. Let's call them. Okay. Ryan, the news is not good. It is 18 minutes into the game, and we just got the message that New York Hello, is Hello, gentlemen. We have just claimed the beautiful state of New York, home to the greatest city in the world, baby! Oh, home state advantage. Is what Woo! I love that for us. Our videos are always have very good. Have fun wherever you're going. I mean, we knew that was going to happen. Uh, yeah, but it happened like, 18 minutes in. I would, I would like for the record to show, to demonstrate that we got f***ed <laughs> by our cars. So and clearly, they got super lucky. <laughs> OK. Now that we've claimed New York, that card gets discarded. We will draw a new card into our deck. And that card is? I don't know what it is. <laughs> I see it. Fi File a geodetic mark recovery form. That's a really good card. It's a really good one. It's easy. I think we should save that. Yeah. I mean, the real question right now is, well, do we go for New Jersey, or do we go for Pennsylvania, or do we go for Connecticut? Basically, we can go north, or we can go south. Somewhat counterintuitively, you would think that the move is to obviously go straight north. It's actually hardish to maneuver up north. Once you go past Boston and that main northeast regional line is ended, it's really tough. I think that. New England is going to be dealt with later in the game, like maybe at the end of today or beginning of tomorrow. I kind of think that the South is a better think, way to go. I think what we should do is we should get on a train that will go through New Jersey to Philadelphia. If we can, if we, if they haven't claimed New Jersey by then, then we could consider getting New Jersey on right. our way. But otherwise, we'll be going straight to Philly. Okay, so we need to go to Penn Station. Penn Station. Get on an Acela. There should be one at nine. I bet we could make that. We've made it, Brian. Oh, is this where Penn Station is? That's Penn Station, yeah. It's right in our Madison Square Garden. It's a little moist out, isn't it? It's a little bit moist. It's a little bit moist. But I'm it's... also a little bit moist. You mean sweaty, right? Yes, sweaty. Okay, just clarify. Here's some. We've made it. It's two trains. It's the cousin of two chains, you know? That's the stupidest joke I've ever heard you tell. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> I love it. Push it firmly, all the way in. Can you take a photo of me in the... Yeah, just pose for a photo, Brian. Yep, pose, pose. No, nope, pose. I know it's a video. <laughs> Brian, what what uh, what yeah, time did you stuff. what time did you get to sleep last night? Like three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My flight got delayed, and I came in three hours late, four hours late, and then a storm started, and we got delayed another hour. So I got into New York. Did you ask for oat milk? I didn't ask for anything. We need to go to like Moynihan, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we gotta get out of here, I think. I'm gonna be honest, Ben, we don't have that much time. No, we have I know, 18 I know. minutes. But it's right here. The good thing about DC is we're right next to Virginia and Maryland. Yeah. So we can, in fact, we can even take the metro to Virginia and Maryland, okay. which means like that leaves super frequently. Mm -hmm. And, you know, cause, cause you know, the difficulty with state borders, we can't cross them in Ubers or rental cars without having a power up. This is another big rule. Teams aren't allowed to cross state borders in Ubers or rental cars. And actually we're not even allowed to get within two miles of state borders in Ubers or rental cars, which prevents us from driving right up to the border and just walking across. We did this to incentivize public transit and also because a show just about us driving rental cars around would be boring. If we really need to cross the state border in a car, we'll need to unlock the border using the Border Unlock Power Up. Otherwise, we need to find a way to cross borders on public transit. So in a way, DC is actually, I mean, we can get to three states pretty quickly, 
Yeah, so I'm we're actually, I need to rack them up quick. I'm actually feeling a little more confident, assuming we get lucky with our cards. What do you think Ben and Adam are up to right now? There's every chance in the world, honestly, that they're on they're our here. train. Yeah, they, they could be here right now. Uh, the new remodeled Moynihan Station, and it's actually shockingly nice. Sexy as hell. Thank you, Kathy Holchol. I actually, I don't know that Kathy can really take credit for this. Oh, those some squeaky shoes. Oh, yeah. Listen to that squeak, baby. Mm -mm -mm. That way they this know the we're coming. You crave. Wait, I just realized they might be on this train. It's perfectly likely. It's like very possible. I hadn't thought about that. Down this way. This, yeah, yeah, train hall. Let's see. 2151. Oh. Ben, Ben, Ben. Hey, guys. Go, Brian. We were just probably. talking. Ah, oh, look at these guys. <laughs> How's it going? Hey. Oh my God, you wouldn't be happy to get on the 9 a.m. train, would you? Oh, no, we're just hanging out. We're just getting coffee. Oh, sure, sure. Let's see you guys. No, it makes sense. That blue Good bottle. to see you, man. It's, it's been, been so long. But this will be interesting. I'm, I am now tired and sweaty. <laughs> it's a perfect combination. I'm fully, I'm fully drenched. Brian, touch my back. Gotcha. Oh, you're like me. Ugh. Here, Brian. Brian let's go. Let's go chat. That's interesting. Well, this will be interesting. I mean, we don't know where they're getting on. It's more valuable for us to know where they're going than for them to know where we're going. Right. Yeah. Let's just let's just follow them around so, so they can't strategize. Oh no, they got further ahead of us. Did you know that the etymology of Jamaica, New York, and Jamaica, the country, two completely different roots? Is it? Yeah. What? How? Because the Jamaica from New York, that's derived from a, a, an indigenous word in Jamaica, oh. the country, yeah. Two just it's happened to be the same word. Hi, guys. Okay, we're on car six. We we overheard them say car six, so one of us can just, like, hang out. That's the, the handy thing with Adam's talking so loud. He's you can very hear, loud. You can hear him so far. And he, his voice was travels. Newark is not close to Pennsylvania, but Philadelphia is close to New Jersey. That is true. So maybe it's worth going to Philadelphia regardless. I think Philadelphia regardless. All right, so the deal is that we really want to know where Ben and Adam get off. That's going to be crucial info. So we're going to stop in Newark soon, which is where they would get off from New Jersey. I'm going to go just hang out near them to see where they get off. All right, I spotted Adam in this car. I'm gonna stay hidden for now, so hopefully they don't realize that we realize where they are. Sam is spying on us. I just saw him. All right, we're at New York. The question is, are they getting off here? I'm gonna look for them. He's just staring at us. Guys, go back to seat. And all right. Okay. Okay, so, Brian, wake up. Wake up. You wake Okay, so juice, juicy intel, okay? Juicy. Juicy intel. So they, Adam was off the train. He spotted me watching him and then got back on the train. Next stop is Philadelphia, so we'll see if they get off there. Does that make sense? Where are they sitting? Uh, they, got, they got out of their seats. They're in the cafe car now. Should I go bother them? You could. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Can we get a coffee here? You can. <laughs> what? Oh, you can get a Starbucks coffee here. That's right. That's right. Doing well. How are you, How are you, How are you feeling? Uh, game of chicken there. Bit of a game of chicken. All right, so looks like we're both going to Philadelphia. Uh, we've looked at our cards. Pretty confident that we have a plan that uh, is gonna screw them over. Oh, well, I guess theoretically they don't have to get off here. They could just stay on until DC. They could. That'd be stupid of them, wouldn't they? I'm 
and they can do it. They can do it, but it'd be stupid in my opinion. All right, I have to imagine that they're getting off here. I'm gonna go find Adam and Ben. Wait, wait, wait. Are they not getting off? Are they staying on the train? Are they going to DC? Let's make sure that they don't get off. I'll look at this one. <laughs> you should rush. You've got some challenges to do. Well, it would appear that we have a little bit more time in Pennsylvania than we might have thought. So they're super sketched out. So they're still on? No, they got off. Oh, they got off? They got off, but they were waiting to see what we would do again. Mm. Okay. Okay, I think we should reconsider that. I think we should reconsider. I think we can do a longer challenge here. Um. I'm surprised. So, I mean, we could do the pawn shop one. I mean, my only hesitation really is that I almost want to save that card. It's a good one. But. But we, also... we could claim both these states quickly, and I'm not that worried about them getting either of them. No, because they're still going south. Yeah. All right, so I know things aren't looking great for us, but we've got a plan to get back in the game. The card we're doing in DC will earn us a power-up, which we can use to swap two cards with Ben and Adam. Because DC is so close to Maryland and Virginia, and is connected to both by Metro, we can theoretically use the easy cards we steal from them to claim them super fast, putting us at three states. If we can then race to nearby Delaware, we'd be at four and in a position to steal Pennsylvania. We just have to hope that Ben and Adam take long enough claiming Pennsylvania and New Jersey that we can beat them to Delaware. All right, let's get these bikes. We're headed to Cash Express Pawn Shop, and we have to take bikes because Philadelphia is right on the border with New Jersey, which is convenient for this car, but also inconvenient because we can't take a rental car. So we're biking again. Bikes! Look, everyone, it's beautiful Philadelphia. Home of the Phillies and cheesesteak and- Bell and a big bell, and um, the Constitution. All right. All right. Adam, pawn shop's a block away. So we have kind of a weird thing that we're doing. We have to buy something from one pawn shop, and then we have to sell it at another pawn shop, and we have to get at least 50% of whatever we bought back. Like, what? would be a thing that we would be like guaranteed to get back at least half of what we paid for it. We won't get half. We're gonna be subtle we might get half. Um, silver's out of the question. Why does buying silver? Because every pawn shop would do one third because the pawn shop's gonna have to make money. Like AirPods, like a laptop. I know a coin, but you're gonna have to find a coin place. Something that's sellable back. Something that can sell you cheap that they don't know about. <laughs> like it's uh, cheaper. All right, let's go. Welcome to the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Why doesn't America have more train stations? What the hell? This is so cool. It is cool. I mean, I'm wondering if the key is to get something that's really cheap so that they'll be willing to, like, if we need an extra dollar like, for the see, sale. That's what I'm saying. Like, the you know, that they'll more. maybe just be willing to be nice to us. Like, what would you let that go for? Six and ten? Yeah. I think, I think let's give it a shot. I think we should try that. All right. Okay, so we got stuck in the pawn shop for a really long time. That guy thought what we were trying to do was crazy. Yeah, the guy at the pawn shop uh, was like, there's no way you'll get 50% back on like anything. Our plan is we bought two rings. We bought the cheapest things that they had at the pawn shop. And we're going to go to the other pawn shop. And we bought one of the rings for just $6. And we're hoping that if we just beg them, they'll give us $3 for it. $3. I'm nervous. We'll see. Uh, 
you know, I'm from I, I'm from here, born, born and raised. So I insisted that we uh, uh, consider this a state because it kind of should be. And the only reason it isn't is because of uh, politics and racism. So anyway, we consider DC a state, which is actually super useful for challenges like well, this, where we have we, to do everything in a state. We, we just got to visit the one spirit hollow in the state. Is that the White House? No. Yes, that's Capitol, Brian. Look at the Capitol. Oh my God. Show them the Capitol. We got to get in the train, though. God damn the libs. Cutter, New Jersey. We gotta do this quick, Ryan, because, uh, so we just need to take the Metro, the red line to Friendship Heights. We'll do this quickly, um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna steal two of their cards, right? Yes. And then we can just walk across the border. It's literally across the street from the Spirit Halloween and do something in Maryland. Wait, the border is across the Look, street from, from where we're going? Halloween. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's perfect. Holy crap. Yeah. It's not my hands are so fast. I only got little legs. That's yours. Isn't this nice? Yeah, it looks exactly like some stations in Paris. Yeah, the DC Metro is so weirdly nice. It just catches on fire all the time. <laughs> it catches on fire? Yeah, but it looks nice. And that's what How matters, does it right? catch on fire? Just like casually. Center of the car. For those of you, including Brian, who don't know, Spirit Halloween is like this shop that pops up for like a month or two right before Halloween each year and all across the US. And there's like loads of them. And very conveniently, there's one and only one in DC. There it is, Brian, the Where? promised land. See, the little Spirit Halloween. Oh, wow. Isn't it weird that we traveled like four hours to get here? <laughs> Hi there. Look, Ben, it's beautiful New Jersey. The heart of America. Where are you? All right. Oh, wow. I'm overwhelmed by the choices, Sam. Sam, I think you should get the bald cap. Bald cap? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that would be funny. Thank you. For success. Do you think you're going to be able to fit it onto your head? That's a good question, because I have a giant noggin. I just have to get this on, and then we can call them. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, you look like Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> that's Maryland. Oh, no, that's DC. <laughs> Sam's calling. So you have a, a bald you have cap a, a bald cap. What? I'm trying to imagine what challenge would involve that. You look great. You're looking really good. We come to you from our newest state, the 51st state of the United States, Washington, D.C. We figured as much. We figured as much. While we're at it, um, we just need to quickly draw a card, and then we'll be taking two of yours. So, um, uh, stand by. All right. We're standing by. Brian, you want to take the top card? Just take the top one? Yeah, but don't let them know. Show the camera, but not them. That's pretty good. Let's keep that. And so are we, we're definitely swapping cards? I think we should. Yeah, I think we need to get some rid of some cards. We've made our selection. You guys are going to be taking high five at the highest point. Okay. And win a top tier prize at a carnival game. Okay. We get those. Okay. Here right. are ours. Well, we're going to tempt you with some options. Really? The weirdest roadside attraction. Weirdest roadside attraction. What? That's a hard. Criticize the most beautiful place. Take a Chevy to a levee and eat pie. Photograph your partner from far away. I think we want geodetic marker and photograph your partner from far away. I think so too. 
Lock it in. Yeah. We're gonna take the geodetic marker and photograph from far away. Okay. Okay. Well, thank God they didn't take the pawn shop one, but that still really sucks. In my mind, we need to speed run Maryland and Virginia, so I think we should use those easy ones for Maryland and mm -hmm. Virginia. Me too. So let's maybe quickly look at the locations of geodetic markers, see if there's one really nearby. By the way, geodetic markers are these small metal disks that are hidden all over the country to serve as reference points for surveying and map making. There's actually a pretty interesting video about them. Well, not that interesting, like half as interesting. There's one just like down the street, apparently. Fantastic. We have to find it and then like fill out this form. And then in that case, we could do the other one. And, and, um. I have a feeling Ben and Madam might be regretting not using those cards sooner. I told you in the car about how if we don't use the good cards, that he's going to steal them. That's exactly what he did. Well, it was also, they did exactly what you had said they were going to do, which is go all the way down south, DC. get a power up swap because they had terrible cards. I just want, and it wasn't on camera, so I'm annoyed, but I just wanted to be known, I predicted this exact thing would happen. Yeah, and it happened. And it kind of sucks, but it's also fine. We, uh, you might have noticed that we very intentionally stood with the pawn shop over here so they couldn't tell we were at one. All right, it's now time for us to go and beg these people to give us $3 for this ring. Uh, so we have sort of a strange thing to explain. We bought a, a little ring for $6 and we're hoping against hope that you'll give us $3 for it. We came all the way from Pennsylvania to sell you this ring for $3. For $3. <laughs> This is yeah, a miracle. We got it, baby! We've done it. This is an official ad for E&B Pawn Brokers. We love E&B Pawn Brokers for all your pawning needs. If you are in like what, like Western New Jersey. All right, time to call Sam. Ooh. Oh, that's a huge relief. I was so nervous. Okay, we're getting a call. All right, let's see what they have to say. Hey guys. Hello, gentlemen. We have claimed Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Congratulations. Finally. What did they get? Uh, Pennsylvania and New Jersey. In one they, go? Yeah, so they probably like transported a pumpkin or something. <gasps> Can we see your pumpkin? Yeah, show us your pumpkin. You just saw our cards. <laughs> show us your pumpkin oh, in a show us your pumpkin. I think that as our boss, you saying show us your pumpkins is harassment. Yeah. I said singular. This um, is going your online. Wants to see your pumpkin. All right. Good luck, guys. See you soon. Bye. 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 All right, now we got to decide what we're going to do We have next. a bunch of really tough cards. But we get to pull one new one. But we Maybe get to, that oh. one will be good. Let's do that. Our new card is... What is it? Oh, Ben. Is it a tough one? Touch both oceans on the same day. Touch both oceans on the same day. It's not great. <laughs> Look, Maryland. It looks like it might be in this, on oh, that shit. side of the fence. I don't really have a good sense of how accurate this is. Yeah. I don't think that's it. They're usually smaller, but let's check it out. Yeah, that's not it. Did you get the coordinates? I can't get them to load in Google. So I think what we should do, you see there's that one, and then there's like one, two, three, four more right there. So how about we go over there? Howdy. Now you might be wondering, Ben and Adam, how are you able to take an Uber across this state border from New Jersey to Pennsylvania? Well, in the rules, if you have claimed a state, then you can transit into it however you want. So you own a state, and we own Pennsylvania. We can enter it however we'd like. And the way we would like is in All right, let's start looking. 
Could be anywhere under these leaves. Anything? Could it be on the other side of the road? Brian, I, I don't think we should waste time with that one. I think let's go to these ones, because on the map, it looks like they're probably newer ones. So we are in the Philadelphia train station. We are headed to Delaware. Right. That cutie right there. Right there, baby. It's very close. It's a very quick train. Yeah, so the reason that we're going for Delaware is that if we claim Delaware, it's protected because we own every state that borders it but Maryland. So they wouldn't be able to get two states bordering it. Plus, they're almost certainly going for Maryland right now, I have to assume. And if they do that, then with Delaware, we would have two states bordering Maryland and we could claim it. Also, we're able to get a power up in Delaware pretty easily by going to the highest point and high-fiving there. Because Delaware is very small and the highest point is quite near Wilmington. There's a 20 minute train from here to Wilmington. Yeah, and that's a card we want to get out of our hands yeah. before we head west. We look like such this is us. This is the exact marked spot, but... This challenge was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Yep. That could have been a mistake. What is this? Can you imagine if that's it? Oh, no, this is like some cart thing. There's another one, right? Yeah, should we just go to that one? Oh, my God. One real meal a day, baby. such a bad headache right now. Okay, so good news, bad news. So it turns out that there are descriptions of what these looks like on these, but this one, it turns out, was installed in 1969, and there's a mark from something called the U.S. Power Squadron, which sounds awesome, uh, that they could not find the mark in 2002. So if they couldn't find the mark, and the Power Squadron, like, I, put, I, I trust the Power Squadron. I do too. So... Oh, all of these have notes saying that they couldn't find them. The Power Squadron must have found some, right? Power Squadron. The Power Squadron did find this one. Oh, that's guaranteed. Okay, check this out. There's a photo for this one, <gasps> and the Power Squadron found it. <gasps> it's in Bethesda. I think we could take the Metro there. Let's go. Oh, we got one of the new Metro lines. Get water in there on the way back. I need to bring more water. You need water. I was already carrying too much weight. <laughs> I'm so out of I wonder if there is something that you could have not brought, Brian. That you um, this is this is foreshadowing right here, right? Brian? I couldn't leave it behind. I spent four hundred dollars on it. I did not agree for you to buy that four hundred dollars. You told me to expend I anything told... that I needed. For yeah, Jeff. but you didn't. You didn't. So need I expensed that, the f***ing telescope. You didn't need that. There it is. Found one. Nice job, Brian. Okay, now we gotta we gotta fill out the form. Okay, what's my agency code? I'm gonna put miscellaneous commercial or private yeah, firms. Like we did it. Submission. Engineering education did me good. Submission. Should we call the boys? We should call them. Let's call the boys. Okay. Uh, just got a video from Sam and Brian. Uh, not looking forward to watching it. Hey, hey Ben and Adam. Um, We're coming from the great state of m m m Maryland. Maryland, okay. We have Maryland. We're hanging with the uh, with, uh, post office. <laughs> That, somehow that's the post office. Can't explain how. So that's where now, we expected them to go. Now, I think that there's no doubt that it is going to be a scramble for Delaware. Fortunately, we're hopping on a train to Delaware in, you know, yeah. 15 minutes, and then it's it's a quick train, and we're right there. So hopefully we can beat them there. Thank you, Fortune. Let's go to Virginia. Okay. Right, Virginia? Are we going to Virginia? Is that what's I, happening? I mean, I think we want to go to Virginia. Brian, we need to pull our next card. 
You gotta make it good. I mean, we can't shuffle these, so you're only allowed to pull the top one. What do we got? Spend 100 at Bucky's. Oh. So we gotta go to like Texas or the South. If you don't know, Bucky's is a chain found only in the American South of extra big, extra fun gas stations ruled by an adorable, lovable mascot named Bucky the Beaver. I hate Bucky so much, Sam. It's like, what if we made a gas station harder to get in and out of? Like, who wants to spend time in a fing gas station? lucky news. I did some research on the train and there's a free observation deck here. So you can go up that. Mm -hmm. I'll go run a half mile away and this should be like super easy. This is exactly where we're going to go regardless because it's the closest point in Virginia and there's just a free observation deck. Amazing. And they'll be tied again. Oh, it's somewhere here. Just look for the view of DC. Apparently you need your ID to get in. I'll start running towards the that view, spot. Okay. The view of the view? Yeah, it's this building. It's this building? So just look for an entrance that says, like, the view of DC. It's on Google. If you miss it, I'm going to start running this way. Okay. Uh, we are coming from New York. Yeah. Okay, how long was the ride? Um, we made some stops. Here, you want to you wanna be on camera? Yeah! Hey, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah. We're going to the highest point. The highest going to the highest point. point it's not very high. No. So what we have to do, though, is we have to um, take a picture of us high-fiving in midair. Um, so if you want to help, you can take the picture of us. Okay. Oh, that would be helpful. It should actually be really helpful. All right, we're here. Oh, incredible. All right. The Metro is just there. And I just got straight into this elevator within a minute. That was too easy. I now have to try to spot Sam from half a mile away for all of you. <laughs> okay, now I have to figure out where he is. I can see where he is. So he's at the top of that skyscraper. So I just need to find a clear line of sight. All right. Okay, this is the highest benchmark monument in Delaware. I think we should stand on the bench because that's even higher. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, it's too slippery? Okay. I have to, I have a bit of a finagling to do with this telescope. <laughs> oh no, I just twisted it out of spot. Jump up and down. Here's... Jump up and down. Okay, I can I can see you. I can 100% see you. You got me? I can see you. Yeah, I got you. Do uh, you do, do some jumping jacks. Do some jumping jacks or something. Uh, like, I can't. One-handed jumping jacks. <laughs> I can totally see you. Okay, you got a photo? Two, three. All right, I think I got it. You got it? You got it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it, we got it, we got it. Yes! <laughs> all right, all right, let's call him, let's call him. Delaware. All right, I just got word from Brian. I mean, I assume you just watched him take a photo of me because I was on the call with him. Oh, wait, it's Adam. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. 
We, along with the help of our Uber driver, Keandra, have claimed the great state of Delaware. Oh, damn. And we got a new team member. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so that is totally expected that they got Delaware. I mean, that's exactly what we wanted them to do. Well, not that we wanted them to do, we expected them to do. Um, that does mean that they're almost certainly gonna initiate a battle challenge on Maryland pretty soon. All right, with Delaware claimed, that means we have two states bordering Maryland. Pennsylvania and Delaware. Which means that we can go attempt to steal Maryland, which is exactly what we're going exactly to go what we're do. Gonna do. Brian, what are you doing? We got <laughs> to go to the beach. Brian, we're in a race. We need to go. I think we should go to Delaware. They haven't claimed New, Delaware. News. <laughs> They've claimed Delaware. All right, we need to strategize. Actually, first we need to call them and let them know that we've claimed Virginia. Sam is unexpectedly calling us. Where uh, from? Hey guys. Sponsor us McDonald's. Hey guys. Hello. Coming to you from beautiful Virginia McDonald's. Virginia. Oh. Which is oh. Our state. You hear that, Deandra? <laughs> I, I, I believe her name, your name is Deandra, Deandra right? Yes. <laughs> you miss her. Deandra. Deandra. Oh, I Our third Deandra team before. member. I'm sorry, Deandra. Anyway, you hear that, Deandra? What do you say? They've claimed Virginia, Keandra. Oh, wow. But we don't even care. We don't care. We don't care we don't about care. that. Sure you don't. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy Virginia. Bye. Thank you for all your Thank help. Thank you so much, Keandra. Yeah, no problem. We are back in the Wilmington Amtrak station. We have a train in about 15 minutes to Baltimore. What could be better? Let's absolutely do it, baby. You still have your chicken nuggets? Here, pull, pull card while we're at. While we're here, it's time to switch out our hands. What? <laughs> we are getting the worst cards. <laughs> This is a good one. This is a really quick and easy one. Okay, These get, get, get your chicken nuggets. Ruining us. Or yeah. is there snow at this time of year? Aspen, Colorado, Upper Michigan. There's like four resorts open in the country. Well, we're off to war. If my guess is correct, Adam and Ben are probably about 10 minutes away from initiating battle challenge. So we think it's worth staying here where there's like shops and stuff around us that we could use. Uh, so we want to give it at least 10, 15 minutes to see if they start a battle challenge before going to the airport. All right, it is 4.30. We are in the middle, middle of Maryland on the train. So that means it's time to battle. Hello, gentlemen. We've been expecting you. Yes. I imagine you might be. Um, we hereby declare a battle in the state of Maryland. So here's how battles work. Once an attacking team has entered their opponent's territory and declared a battle, both teams have 30 minutes until a challenge card is drawn from the battle deck. Both teams will then compete in the challenge simultaneously, no matter where in the country they are. Whichever team wins gets the state, and its ownership is locked, meaning it cannot be challenged again. It's currently 4.32. The battle will start at 5.02. Okay. Our bellies are full, and we're like in a really good position for the battle challenges. I think we have a lot of stores around us. Is too full. If we throw up a chicken sandwich. Oh well. Okay. All right. We are ready for for battle. Are you prepared for battle? No, I no. We're not. Are we filming? We're no. filming. You, you're Mike. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Now we're really ready. The battle is. The battle is. Oh, we're in a good spot for this. Oh, we're in a very good spot for this, Ben. Let's go!
Oh boy, that is quite the battle that Sam and those other people have got going for them. I sure wonder how it ends. It's too bad that I have to wait a whole week to watch that. I just wish I could watch it now. Well, boy, do I have an answer for you, that person on the other side of the frame. Uh, it's called Nebula. Nebula is the streaming site that myself and a bunch of other um, educational-ish creators uh, founded ourselves and we run between ourselves. And we post every single episode of Jetlag there one week early. So that means that yes, you can watch season four episodes Episode two of Jetlag right now on Nebula, and every episode after that one week early. And at the end of this season, just like last season, we're doing an after show where we answer a bunch of your questions, uh, talk about some of the strategy, bring you behind the scenes a bit, and especially we show you a lot of unreleased footage. So the best of that we are showing you on the after show that's exclusive to Nebula at the end of the season. You know, the reason we do this is because this show could not exist without Nebula. Truly, as you can tell, like it's an expensive show to film and then do the post-production on. And the only way that can, we can pay for that, the revenue that we get from the tens of thousands of you that have signed up already just to watch Jetlag when we early. In addition to jet lag, there's like loads of other really good stuff on Nebula. For example, we've made a ton of stuff, our team put on screen all the different stuff that we've made that's exclusive to Nebula. And then like 150 other really high quality creators that you probably already watch are all doing the same thing too. Uh, you know, making exclusive stuff, posting stuff early, all of it ad and sponsorship free. So there's loads of really good content. Um, for example, if you remember the guest from season two, Joseph from Real Life War, he has this great series called Modern Conflicts. It's about like going nitty and gritty into how like some modern wars and battles have, have gone out. And that's stuff that you can't really make on YouTube because of their super strict um, policies about, you know, talking about violence and war and advertisers like guidelines and stuff. So this is something that like, it's really good content and it's unique to Nebula. It could only exist because of the Nebula platform. And then in addition to all of that, what's really crazy about this deal is the best way to sign up for it. And there has literally never been a better time to sign up. That's because we're running this bundle deal with CuriosityStream, which is a whole nother streaming site. They, they have like really good uh, kind of nonfiction, smart content documentaries and TV shows and stuff like that. Really good stuff to add to your kind of viewing repertoire if you want to feel a little bit more enlightened by the entertainment that you watch. So we run a bundle deal with them where if you go to curiositystream.com slash jet lag and sign up for any subscription on that page, they will throw in a Nagel subscription for free for as long as you stay subscribed. It's a crazy good deal. Two streaming sites for the cost of one, but it's actually less than the cost of one because they're running a 42% off sale on that page. That is the deepest sale I have ever seen in the years we've been working with them. So it comes out to literally $11.50-ish or something. Um, I'll put the correct number on screen. It's crazy low. That's not per month. You probably think that's per month. That's for the year. It's like literally the cost of a burger for an entire year of two streaming sites, including exclusive content from Jetlag and every episode one week early. And you can watch the next episode up right now. And boy, is the next episode quite something. Um, so I definitely encourage signing up and it helps support this channel, helps keep the lights on at this channel. So, uh, you know, click the button on screen or head over to curiositystream.com slash Jetlag to sign up right now. And thanks in advance for your support.